here they are in the pace lap, nicely bunched and moving easy. And they're off and running. in a 60 Pontiac number 22. Jack Smith in another 60 Pontiac number 47 and Bobby Johns in a 59 Pontiac number 4 leading the way. As they come roaring past the stands, it's still fireball in the lead, but he's got plenty of competition reading down his place. One of the many tricks a good driver learns on a track like this is to play the wind currents. The movement of the racers does set up strong eddies of wind, and if you know how to use them, you can pick up a couple of miles or so of speed every lap. It's quite a trick. Look out, there's a wall climber right in front of the grandstand. I think it's Pappy Crane, a first-rate driver, but his luck ran out today. A close call. Fireball Roberts has lost his lead to Jack Smith in the 20th lap. Fireball may be having engine trouble. What kind, we don't know. Yes, there he goes into the pit now. His mechanics are trying to find out the trouble. It may be serious. And I guess it is because Fireball is getting out of the car. Here's young Dick Petty pulling in for gas. He and his father, Lee, are both driving in this race, and Dick is a heavy favorite to finish in the money. Now the race is nearing the three-quarter point. It's the 125th lap, and Junior Johnson of Ronda, North Carolina, has been holding the lead since the 90th. Hey, there's another spin-up. Half a dozen cars skidding toward the lake. And one of them flopped right into the water. Now, how about that? Has it gotten to the point where a race driver has to learn how to swim, too? That's Junior Johnson pulling in for a refueling stop. This means he'll lose his lead, temporarily at least, to the Petty Boys and Bobby Johns. But these pit experts are quick, swift, and experienced. Within a matter of seconds only, they'll have him back in the race. And believe me, in a red-hot contest like this, seconds are important. There he goes, and he hasn't lost more than a lap at the most. It's a father and son battle now, and has been ever since the 135th lap. A duel between Richard Petty and his father Lee. Can they keep it up? This is a killing pace they're setting, and Junior Johnson is right with them all the way, fighting to get back that lead he sacrificed during his fueling stop. Don't rule out Bobby Johns either, because he's... Whoop! There's another. What a beating that infield turf is taking. Look at that. He's going to try and get back into the race. Sure enough, he made it. Only a few more laps to go. Junior Johnson has gotten his lead back. Bobby Johns is just inches behind, and so are Richard Petty and his father. There's the white flag for the final lap. Junior Johnson is still ahead, but not by much. And here they come, roaring down to the finish line. Johnson's ahead by a few seconds only. There's the checkered flag, and it's Junior Johnson. The winner by 23 seconds over Bobby Johns, who is second. Richard Petty is third, his father Lee is fourth. It's a great moment for Junior's pit crew and a great moment for him. Here he comes into the winner's circle to get the big NASCAR Grand National Sweepstakes Championship trophy. And not incidentally, a prize of $19,600, which ain't hay. Winning means you've really got the guts and nerve and skill that are the mark of a true champ. Well, it's been a great day and a great race.